Hello guys, welcome to lecture 3. In this lecture, I will teach you cyclic group. What is cyclic group? A group is said to be a cyclic if every element of a group G is a power of A raised to K of a fixed element A where A belongs to G. Now, element of a, a is called a generator of a G when you get all the elements of G. And this is a formula to calculate the generator. In next example, I will teach you how to get the generator and the subgroups. So let's take one example where g is equal to z6 and the binary operator is addition. So in the first tutorial I taught you about how to find z6. So where z6 is equal to 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Cardinal is 6 because the number of elements in z6 are 6. Now let's take one by one uh, number and get the generator and subgroups. So first is 0, so 0 raised to 0 mod 6 is equal to 0. 0 raised to 1, 0 mod 6 is equal to 0. We have to increase the power and uh, as it is a binary operator, we have to add. So 0, how many times we will add the 0, it will, mod 6 will be equal to 0. So now move forward to, uh, let's take 1. So 1 raised to 0 mod 6 is equal to 0. 1 raised to 1 mod 6 is equal to 1. 1 raised to 2 means 1 plus 1 as it is a binary operator is addition so we have to add 1 plus 1 mod 6 is equal to 2 as I have mentioned uh, later that 1 raised to 3 mod 6 is equal to 3 1 raised to 4 mod 6 is equal to 4 1 raised to 5 mod 6 is equal to 5 as you can see that all the elements of z6 are getting generated by 1 now let's move to 2 so 2 raised to 0 mod 6 is equal to 0 2 raised to 1 mod 6 is equal to 2 2 raised to 2 mod 6 is equal to 4 2 raised to 3 mod 6 is equal to 0 now I will teach you how to calculate that in this we have how much power we have to add 2 so 2 plus 2 plus 2 is equal to 6 because our binary operator is plus so mod 6 is equal to 0 2 raised to 4 we have to add 2 4 times so it will be 8 mod 6 is equal to 2 now we so on calculate all the elements of 3 and 4 and let's move to 5 5 raised to 0 mod 6 is equal to 0 5 raised to 1 mod 6 is equal to 5 5 raised to 2 mod 6 is equal to 4 because 5 plus 5 is equal to 10 and 10 mod 6 is equal to 4 now 5 raised to 3 so we have to add 5 3 times so it will be 15 15 mod 6 is equal to 3 15, 5 raised to 4 mod 6 is equal to 2 and 5 raised to 5 mod 6 is equal to 1 because 5 we have to add 5 5 times will be 25 and mod 6 is equal to 1 so we will be getting some subgroups and generator so from 1 we are getting all the elements of z6 and 5 we are getting all the elements of z6 so some are subgroups and some are generators so I will be writing uh, which are subgroups and which are generators from it. Okay, so I, uh, we have to write like H1 would be equal to 0 because it is, a, um, it is coming from 0. So it will be 0. Now H2. Uh, we have generated from 1 how many elements are generated 0 1 2 3 4 and 5 so will be 0 1 2 3 4 and 5 what will be H3 will be 0 2 4 and you have to see all the elements generated from 2 so will be 0 2 4 only so H3 is equal to 0 2 4 now move forward to 3. So what are the elements generated from 3? 0 and 3 only. So H4 is equal to 0 and 3. Now uh, which are the elements generated from 4? Will be 0, 2 and 4. As we have already written, uh, they are coming from 2. So no need to write again. Now let's move to 5. Which are the elements generated from 5? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 0. So we have already written uh, H2, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So no need to write again. So all the, which are the elements generated from 5, Z6, which are similar 
uh, it is called as generator so H2 is a generator of G and uh, one H1 H3 and H4 are subgroups of G so uh, in this section you have learned about uh, how to get the generator and subgroups